Okay, this is number video number 10 of how to disassemble and reassemble your Honda GXV 160 engine. Okay, make sure the spacer is on here for the carburetor, okay? Put that on there, and then the next thing to do is to put this gasket on like so. All right, the next thing you need to do is grab your carburetor. Now, your carburetor needs to go in there a certain way, and this little jet right here, this, not jet, but this little fuel line needs to be pointing that way, okay? Slide this on. Okay, that's going to go in like that. Now, if you want, you can go ahead and get your gasket. It looks like this. And slide it on here. Be careful when you're installing this gasket. It could actually go in there two different ways, but only one way is right. And if you look, there's a little hole right here. There's a little hole right there on your carburetor. I'm going to slide that, and then you need to line up. Okay? All right. The next thing I want you to grab is see if you can find your long rod that you had. Okay? Find this long rod, and we're going to stick it back through the spring and it goes into that top hole I'm just going to kind of finagle it around it connects onto your carburetor there now I want to use a pair of pliers connect the spring okay Spring is connected. The next thing you need to do is find this piece right here. Okay. Let's see here. This piece goes on there like that. All right. You got a spring in the back here, which is going to connect down to right there in case I don't get a good camera angle. Got to make sure that spring gets in there. But the first thing you need to do is make sure you can put it on the carburetor first. So put this in there and then turn it like that. put this in here. You need to find your uh, two six millimeter bolts. Start them loosely. Don't tighten them up yet. Put them in there loosely. Let's get some stuff connected. Okay, the next thing I want to do is I want to get that fuel line on because that's getting pushed back there in the back. And the more stuff you put on, the harder it's going to be. So let's just go ahead and connect that guy. I'm going to squeeze my little clamp here. Okay. Okay, and I've got all that on there. And this right here, this fuel line here, actually needs to go on this side of that throttle thing there. Here you go. I go through right there. All right, the next thing you want to look after is this right here is your ignition coil wire. And this needs to run down and needs to connect to the back side of the ignition coil. Then you have a little tab here that needs to be put into the back of that gasket to hold the wire in place to make sure it doesn't get against something it shouldn't be getting against. go. Okay. Alright. Alright. So these are 
six millimeter bolts held on with a 10 millimeter socket. I'm kind of snug up with my fingers. I want to grab my pliers and I want to make sure this spring is fitting loosely in there. It should fit kind of loosely. All right, so these are six millimeter bolts. We're going to go with seven foot pounds of torque on them. Okay, now the next thing I want you to connect is your air cleaner assembly. Looks like this. Uh, I should say your air filter housing assembly. All right, this is going to bolt onto the carburetor, and you should have two nuts and one bolt looking like this, kind of long, to connect this. Now, before you put it on, I would say you're going to want to put it, uh, this breather tube right here to the engine block. Okay. Now these are six millimeter nuts. So again, we're going to torque them down to seven foot pounds. Going to snug them up by hand. kind of going through and sew them down a little bit loosely. There's seven there. Seven there. Seven there. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to want to work on is getting this fuel line on. And you're going to take your little grommet here and put it inside of here. And then this slides up inside on that fuel line get your pliers okay All right, now we need to find our long looking bolt right here for the fuel tank. This is, let's see. This is an eight millimeter bolt. So we're gonna torque this one down to Fifteen foot pounds. All right, this is this is a twelve millimeter socket. Okay, I think I'm going to stop right there. I don't think I'm going to torque it down yet. I might wait for that just because I want to be able to finagle, finagle this thing a little bit when reassembly continues. Okay, we're almost getting there. We're almost done. If you have any questions, please let me know. And have a great day. Thanks for watching.